Then one day, I heard my parents whisper excitedly of a lucrative offer that had come to daddy for a Telugu film. At last, he would be rich and mom had promised me a red frock, some stationery and a new doll. There was an air of suppressed excitement in the house of dreams that were finally coming true. I had a school picnic to go on early one morning. The evening before, daddy had come home, tired from work, but took me out to buy snacks and sweets for the picnic. My basket was crammed with goodies. I was bursting with joy. Daddy set the alarm for five in the morning, ironed my clothes for the next day and went to bed. The next morning, the alarm clock went off. I got up but daddy did not. He passed away in his sleep. A coronary thrombosis, the doctor explained. I was 13. My sister Anuradha, 8. Daddy was just 41. Along with his body, our dreams too went up in flames. But Nindu Hridayalu, the Telugu movie he had scripted with superstar N.T. Rama Rao in the lead, had celebrated its 100th day. The producer sent some additional money to my mother for the Hindi distribution rights of the film. The movie was a blockbuster and the first in its genre. Daddy's script became a recurring Bollywood theme. Three brothers separated in childhood, reunited as adults, avenging their parents' misfortunes. Another Telugu producer had visited us to offer his condolences. He remarked ruefully that my father's script for him was left half done. I know the story, I told him. I could finish it for you. He looked at me with kind eyes. Are you sure? I nodded. Daddy discussed the treatment with me. He smiled at my use of jargon. I completed the script for him. My mother who had been a teacher before her marriage, went back to support the family. We left our beloved home and city, moving to my mother's ancestral home in Bangalore. Then, as the years rolled by, life meandered in different directions for Anuradha and me. But our love for language and the written word stood us in good stead. Studies completed. Anuradha became a marketing professional while I became a mathematics teacher. We soon had our own families and children to raise. Even so, daddy's unfinished dreams lingered on. Both Anuradha and I continued to write. I brought out a collection of my poems while my sister published her anthology of short stories and a novel. In 2003, my entry for a horseshoe nail in the Commonwealth Broadcasting Association's short story competition won a highly commended prize. Selected from 3,700 stories, the competition was tough. The judges informed me. Your story was beautifully told and very well written. Centered on an organ donation racket, it was set in a remote Tamil Nadu village but read across the world. A UK doctor used the story as a topic for debate among his university students. The following year, it was Anuradha's turn. She too won a highly commended prize for her story. Today, my elder daughter Darshana Ramdev is a journalist with the Deccan Chronicle. She always wanted to write. My younger one, Deeksha, studying computer science, is also an ardent writer and has an active cricket blog, the T Towel Explanation. I am going to be a cricket writer one day, she says, as if it were a warning. Let me finish my engineering. Daddy passed away in 1970, two generations ago, I would say, but his single minded devotion. To writing still glows like a beckon among his children and grandchildren. Anybody can die, 
yet as i finish one more piece this story you have read i know something for sure about dad his writing never stopped